And speaking of professionals, All Elite Wrestling is the first true mainstream competitor in professional wrestling in more than two decades. And AEW is returning to St. Louis this Saturday at the Chaffetz Arena. So we have a resident daredevil with us this morning ahead of the excitement, Darby Allen. Thanks for being here today. Yo, what up? Okay, I am Yo. so excited for this. If the big match is tomorrow. Tell us what people can expect. Well, the thing with AEW is you can expect the unexpected. And I mean that. It's yeah. not just like I'm not trying to sell anything, but every week there's some crazy shenanigans going on. Last week I almost broke my neck. <laughs> and then uh, this week we got so much crazy, crazy stuff. It, yeah. Literally, it's something different every week. We don't play it safe. Yeah. And, you know, I was in town and I, I saw this arch and I, I kind of wanted to jump off. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> which which wouldn't be that surprising, Darby. You seem to, you do a lot. I saw a video of your car jumping over your home. Yes, yes. I mean, you really are a daredevil. So are you nervous for tomorrow? Do you get nervous before these stunts? No, you know, I think with, with AEW, I, I embrace, the beauty of AEW to me is they let me do everything inside the ring and outside yeah. the ring. What yeah. you see out there is 100% Darby Allen. No one tells me how to wrestle, wow. talk, walk, like act or anything like that. They're just like, all right, just be you. For good or bad, they let me be me. And I think <laughs> okay. uh, you can expect just craziness with me. And uh, yeah, I, n I never get nervous because yeah. I embrace going to the hospital. Okay, okay, so. that's one way to take I, on I, I live at the, I live at the hospital, yes, pretty much. All right. Well, speaking of these attempts and these stunts, it sounds like you're gonna attempt to climb Mount Everest. Yes, I will be the first professional wrestler to climb Mount Everest. Wow. Hopefully I'm the first successful wrestler to climb Mount Everest yeah. and avalanche don't take me out. Yeah, yeah. But so yeah, how's that training? Do you have to do a lot of prep for that? So that's the thing I don't think a lot of people understand is yeah. being a full-time wrestler and also trying to train to climb Mount Everest, yeah. I'm dodging all these bullets yeah. and like every week I'm almost like having to go to the hospital for wrestling and then I got to stay healthy enough to climb Everest. Yeah. Uh, the training has been crazy, like yeah. crazy. I, I was in Mendoza in China or Kathmandu for yeah. over a month in December. But before I went, I got an AC joint sprain. So oh I had this AC joint sprain and I was climbing mountains. So oh, it was wow. pretty, pretty gnarly training. I, yeah. I'm, I'm excited for it though, but everyone there says I got what it takes. Yeah, like, you, mu you must have really impressive knees to handle all these stunts yeah, and these just jumps. All, all the years of skateboarding got me <laughs> yeah. ready for this. Yeah, it so. has prepped you. Well, I'm excited to see that. I know you're planning to put the flag in the summit. Yeah, so I'm gonna plant that AEW flag on top and that's something just show the world what AEW is allowing us to do yeah. inside the ring and outside the ring. So. And to, to wrap up here, of course, people, they might see you as a bit of an under dog just because of your size but you really come out on top many times so for the kids out there I Danny told us you paint your face sometimes you'll see them in the crowd with their face painted yes, absolutely so what would your message of inspiration be to them I would say more than anything for the kids is stay true to you yeah. I know it sounds cliche but yeah. just literally stay true and don't listen to anybody right because that's what you do you're, you're jumping <laughs> over home staying true to yeah. Darby stay in school yeah and stay in school all right all that information is right there on your screen again Saturday that's tomorrow at the Chaffetz Arena you're not going to want to miss it oh it's going to be fun